Well, they're still investigating the death of Matthew Perry. Now they're getting into actually the post office because they're thinking maybe the ketamine that caused his death might have been mailed to him. So yeah, it this- sounds like federal investigators are working with the U.S. Postal Service's investigative, the people that do all that mm-hmm. uh, stuff to make sure that if uh, he did uh, overdose from illegal ketamine, that it wasn't through the post office. And if it was, who said it? Right. Yeah. Big news. Uh, that's probably oh, the sure. top story. And then just locally, to be kind of selfish here, our Timberwolves are doing great. Yes, the Timbies. Yes, and we have <laughs> in the Twin Cities maybe some celebrities. Somebody oh, emailed sure us and said Robert Downey Jr. was seen yesterday at Target oh. because he was doing something with his coffee brand. But also, I think it's a twofer. He'll probably be at the game. Mike, what were you going to say? Yeah, he was there promoting the coffee. Um, I'm not sure how much of a basketball fan he is or if he's going to show up to the game. But yeah, oh. it was uh, all part of the uh, that coffee deal, which blew my mind because I wasn't working and I would have happily gone to Target to <laughs> see right? Iron Man in person. Was he just like doing samples? Yeah, like, here, try my coffee. I saw a whole bunch of people. They were all holding his coffee, like whatever company that is, holding it in their hands. Well, and he awesome. was just taking pictures, signing autographs. Do you know which Target he was at? I know for Minneapolis. Those. It's, it was like the... Uh, I like which, downtown? Yes, the okay. downtown, I the headquarters target. Mm-hmm. That one's tough to get into him. sometimes. The parking, you know. It's oh, really? Uh, they have a yeah, huge parking lot. Of, uh, underground? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Well, anyway, we missed it. Maybe he'll come back or he can come into this station, you know. We do work at a radio station, so yeah, come on in. Absolutely. <laughs> We'd love to chat with our good friend i bet he's got some blind items he could actually confirm or deny for oh, us oh yes but we love can celebrity tell them, guests do you have any blind items for us unfortunately i wish i had happy coffee for you unfortunately oh, coffee. Brand, apparently, yes. but i don't have coffee for you but i, I do have, have crappy some... coffee <laughs> uh same actually mine's pretty good it's from door county i'll tell you more about that i was gonna say time. it's not what we're drinking over here <laughs> i have an energy drink and it's making me real jazzy Ooh, Ooh let's do, do some it jazz yeah let's Let's do it. Let's get it started with some start blind start scatting. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee does that to you. All right, let's get things started today with this one. Uh, it was absolutely no accident that this superstar musician dropped additional versions of the album at the same time their growing rival <laughs> released a new album. When you first said this, uh, my brain heard uh, magician. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, wow, let's go with that. that would be awesome. A superstar mm-hmm. magician. The only one that I know of, we're not talking about. Please don't talk gross. about him. What no. about David Blaine? There we go. He's okay, great. Sure, he's he's the only one I believe. I don't know. Is he though? This is David Blaine. Yes, that's one half of it. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not. No, it's not. So okay. superstar it musician. Okay. Uh, it was no accident that this superstar musician dropped additional versions of the album at the same time their growing rival released their new album. This is a Katy Perry's album hasn't come out yet, though. Does she have one coming? Uh, Billie Eilish. She does have oh, one. Oh, gotcha. Coming. That must have yeah. been new news because uh, uh, yes, Billie Eilish is the correct answer, and her growing rival is Dua. <laughs> Good guess, because she just had an album drop. Yeah. Who else just had an album drop? J-Lo. <laughs> Between the two of those albums. Growing drops. rival. Mm. <laughs> well, okay. Think of growing rivals when it comes to Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> mm, Taylor Swift. Huh. Yeah. It is? She dropped new music? Uh, she dropped additional versions. Now, you oh. may remember, let's uh, fill in the blind first. It was no accident that Taylor Swift went ahead and dropped additional versions of her Dead Poets uh, Department uh, album at the same time as uh, the Tortured Poets Department. I always do that with the yeah, Dead, Dead Poets Poet Society. Society. That's yeah. what Everybody, I always want to say. Everybody wants Tortured, to say Dead Poets Society. Tortured Poets Department. Uh, but uh, she released additional albums the same day that Hit Me Hard and Soft was dropped by Billie Eilish. Now, you may remember Billie Eilish when that last album came out for Taylor, even before it came out, she called out some musicians that Mm -hmm. maybe aren't thinking about the environment and not thinking about different ways they could uh, support the environment by doing better things and not releasing, you know, 14 different versions of the same album. Oh my God, this is shade! Taylor just slaps back and says, okay, well, here's some more versions. Happens to be released the exact same date you're releasing your new album. I love it. I just also love that they have to pit women against each other. As if Taylor Swift has any competition at this point, 
point in terms of her stranglehold on pop culture and oh, you know record I, sales. Don't you think she did it on purpose, though? And, it's like one of those shades that nobody I, can prove, but it's if it's the same day. I mean, sure, but I would imagine it was like hatched. Like, hey, by the way, if we're going to do this, because I'm sure she was already planning on doing it, you know, we might could use this other narrative that people are going to spelunk their way through oh, on social yeah. media, right? It's great. It's all good fun. I don't think she's like the most. Although yeah. that song about Kim Kardashian was pretty shady. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And Taylor has, uh, in the past, after this kind of came out, talked about, you know, women versus women. Like you said, you have to pit women together. Like, the media wants to do it already. And yeah. the fact that it almost seemed like some of the comments Billy was making was trying to further that narrative sure. already just she's from like, her. Fine. So she's like, okay, you want to go that route? We can go that route. Let's do this. Here's 30 new versions available at Target. And, if you wanna... and then Jennifer Lopez is like, I got 32 as well. And people are like, no, do you? cares? Do you? And there's there's some belief in the world of blind items in the dark web that maybe Taylor like there there is one thing Taylor hasn't been able to accomplish that Billy has accomplished multiple times Oscar and that is an Oscar of course and the blind oh. items lead you to believe that Taylor thought she should have been maybe up for some or yeah should have been or she was we up talked for some, about it one yeah and so there's a belief that maybe there's a, still a little bit of a uh, professional rivalry going on with the only person who's even uh, quite a bit younger than Taylor already with two Oscars yeah. Although Taylor has a lot of career left in her. Mm -hmm. So I imagine she's got plenty of opportunities to win Oscars in the future. And I bet she will at some point if she wants to. Uh Uh-huh. Katy Perry's changed all of her logos to KP6. Oh. It's a red logo that looks like a kind of like a car model. And it's supposed to be her. Actually, Orlando Bloom, just to sidetrack us for a second. He was on um, with uh, the Today Show. And he kind of leaked that, that she has new music coming. And then this information has just come out. So, and it's supposed to be really raw and very personal. Raw Katy Perry. Yeah. Interesting. You had a sentence that had Orlando Bloom <laughs> leak. Raw and ca- uh, yeah. Yeah. There's, just, that's a, there's a lot going on. When you and there's a little. cream for that that's now available at Target. Yes. yes just Pick up some happy coffee while you're there. Exactly. Say hi to Robert. He's yeah. going to be waiting for you. All hi right. Let's, let's do another one here. Uh, rolling through the blind items today. How about this one? It's pretty convenient that you have a big story come out discussing your professional relationship, in quotes, to a co-star a few days after we all saw the video. Ooh. Oh. We all saw that video. Oh, yeah. This is Jeremy Allen White. (laughs) Iowa Debris. This was one of those blind items. Now, the listeners watching the YouTube channel haven't already heard this, but this is one of those, and you'll fill in the blank in just a moment, Yeah, blind items that I was really excited to share in your absence, Mike. Oh, yes. And we were not good at it. Well, it's just... It took us a long time. You got there. Yeah. You yeah. basically had to say, say, think of animals. No, I literally had to give them the answer. <laughs> it was like 10 it's minutes. Like, it shows was okay. named after the animals. The show is about to 400. end. <laughs> it's the bear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is the bear. And uh, the article we're referring to is apparently uh, um, Iowa Debris had this big article going out, big cover story talking about um, uh, their very, very, very close relationship. Intimate but their intimate friendship, friendship is the, the key words there. Uh, so it's just pretty ironic that this huge article comes out where she really dives deep into that relationship just a couple days after we saw them um he was he, it, rubbing her back he was rubbing her back, rubbing back holding her tight and, holding her tight yeah it's real close and i wanted to bring this up because they know everybody's gonna see that i know of course they do you don't go to a public setting mm-hmm. and then canoodle in yeah. public and not expect that somebody's gonna take your you know, take video of that. The other thing that I wanted to say that we didn't even get time to talk about yesterday is what happened to Rosalia? That's what I'm wondering. Or Rosalia. 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 Yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen her in a while. Because they had been dating for, oh gosh, since last year, allegedly, supposedly. Well, that's mm, the last we heard the out model of... model and... The last we heard of them, though, was like in January. Yeah. January 19th, packing on the PDA and awkwardly standing next to each other while smoking ciggies. So something happened. And they held hands, too, didn't they? At one point, it was like, oh, they're together. Yeah, they were making out. I mean, practicing on the PDA. They were kissing. and uh, must be a good kisser. Well. Hmm? Yeah. What? I don't know. I'm just saying. Think about it for a second. I'll give you time. Why? 
Thinking about Jeremy Allen White kissing me? Yes. Okay, I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Does anyone so, want to have fun today? What? <laughs> I just, I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just daydreaming about Jeremy Allen White. There you go. Uh, making out with me. So, uh, but no, there's uh, that's the blind item there for uh, for today. Again, it just seems, I don't know, there's got to be more to that. I don't know well, exactly why. Can, I, can we also yeah. just talk about the fact that we are on a blind item podcast? Mm-hmm. They might just want us to think that. For yeah. sure. <gasps> mm-hmm. What? Maybe they planned it. Yeah. Maybe what? they called you, Bradley, and told you. Was that your source? No, it was the video oh. that everyone saw. Oh. And if you were at the game, it literally was one of those situations where they had like the cat. It wasn't just the two of them. There were members of the cast of the bear. And it said like, and now the Chicago Cubs welcome the cast of the bear. And everyone went wild so it's not as like they, they were on just the big like screen. Hiding. They were absolutely not hiding. Yeah. They knew everybody yeah. knew they were there and doing that. Yeah. So well, there you go. There's but some more to that. Again, the fact that it was timed so eloquently with the release of that, you know, interview where she's talking about intimate friendships. Mm hmm. It just makes you feel like every move that a celebrity makes is planned and calculated. We hope. Yeah. I mean, makes for fun blind items, right? For sure. All right. Speaking of fun blind items, let's go ahead and do another one. The biggest issue for this show creator is deciding how to get rid of the former lead. Because he knows in the back of his mind, the A-list actor slash director is going to be coming crawling back to the franchise as soon as he runs out of cash after this new project. So the hardest issue for the creator of the show is knowing what he's going to do with the... uh, The the reason why there's a delay is uh, the creator is trying to figure out what he's going to do with the former lead because he knows that the A-list acting director is going to come crawling back uh, to the franchise as soon as he runs out of cash with this new project. This would be... Are we talking about Kevin Costner? Of course we are. And Taylor Sheridan and Horizon. There you go. four-part movie. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. The issue for, according to the blind items for Taylor Sheridan, is uh, trying to figure out how he's going to be getting rid of um, Mr. Dutton uh, from a creative standpoint, considering the fact that he thinks if there is some sort of a spinoff show, which we all know there is, Mm -hmm. 2024 is going to be the spinoff show of Yellowstone, uh, and if they decide Decide to, uh, or if uh, Kevin Costner decides, hey, you know what? That gigantic paycheck that I was getting maybe is a little bit better than our little rivalry. Uh, he might come crawling back, especially after he literally mortgaged his ranch to make Horizon. Didn't he put in like wasn't it like tens of millions of dollars of his own money? It's like over a hundred. It was million. O- it was a hundred. Like oh, I thought it was like eighty some million. I mean, the the article said that he put like he got like a hundred million dollars basically putting his ranch up to wow. get $100 million to put towards these. Yeah, something tells me you might want to go back on that show and just, you know, start filling them bank accounts again. Yeah, or he could just somehow, I mean, he could, Taylor Sheridan could just, like, use AI to show him <laughs> eating bacon in every scene and then say, well, his health wasn't that great. <laughs> Just a simple end, what? you know. Well, <laughs> he is high cholesterol. That is the best way to kill somebody off of an award-winning show. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> he has, his blood sugars were real high. I, I know you, you haven't and watched, over years. I, I know you haven't watched the show, but he yeah. did have a cancer scare and that he survived. He also was shot about fourteen times once what and he, survived. Oh my god, he's like fifty cent. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And well, uh, the bacon is what got him in the end. Yeah, not the, not the bullet holes. There's a reason why many people prefer the, uh, uh, the 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 Paramount Plus series opposed to Yellowstone. It's a very uh, it's a very network TV drama e type show. Uh, and Yellowstone. They, oh, okay. So like, they he, like the dirtier version. They like the better storytelling. Yeah. I would be one of these people that Unedited. give me 1883. Not necessarily because of that. It's because of the over the top drama that you know. Oh, you have to come back next week to see it. Type yeah. of a thing. Oh. There's better stories on streamers usually than there are on your you know NBC network serially. television show. Yeah, they're wherever. not so desperate to get yeah. the ratings for next week. Although I think it was actually Paramount that's streaming over on Peacock now. But yes, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, the idea of not trying to keep pulling viewers in. It's just got to be a little over the top. Every time someone falls over the horse, they don't happen to hit their head on a rock and die. Well, <laughs> Unless it's the Yellowstone universe and you're was, dead every time. And you're eating a piece of bacon, you're yes. done. Or like somebody stepped on a nail because they didn't have I antibiotics. Know. Well, there's that too. Yeah. Like literally somebody looked at, or a microorganism looks at you the wrong way and you're dead. 
What time uh, period does Yellowstone take place? Yellowstone's modern, though. Yep, Yellowstone's oh, okay. modern. Yeah. It's, oh, that's why... The, not the 1880, whatever. Yeah. 1883 yeah. was like the Oregon Trail. They were doing that whole like kind of run there. And like, what's the one with Helen Mirren? 1923. That's the best one. And then they're doing okay. 2024. And there is 1923 will be coming with a season two uh, eventually, and that's uh, that's and by far the best one. it's called 1924. I... Th- think it's just season two <laughs> okay but 2024 is where we're probably going to get the continuation of the characters from yellowstone minus uh james or Dunn. maybe they'll move to another national park and do a tour of that one like or john the Dunn, grand tetons there you go <laughs> now that's a show i want to watch uh, in case you're wondering about horizon <laughs> watch that on cinemax at about <laughs> 2 30 in the a.m <laughs> Uh, by the way, Horizon, an American Saga, Chapter 1. Of course, it was debuting at Cannes, or did debut at Cannes. 17 reviews so far on Rotten Tomatoes. And? 29. Oh! 29. Well, what's up with this 10-minute standing ovation, then, where Kevin Costner cried and then stood up money. and said, I didn't realize they were waiting for me to stand up and talk. By the way, this one has a $100 million budget. The second one, I believe, also has around a $100 million budget. And then the other three haven't been made yet. Or the other two. Um, it's supposed to be a four-part saga. Also, I was listening to people debate whether they thought Megalopolis or Horizon was going to be the bigger flop, and I think Ooh. most people agreed it was Horizon. Wow! Because with at least with Megalopolis, you have Francis Ford Coppola, who's sort mm-hmm. of deemed to be a prestige creator, and mm-hmm. so many celebrities, it's unbelievable. Yeah, and so there's kind of this built-in like, oh, people don't like it, you know, for some hoity-toity reason. Well, all right. and based on like all of those celebrities, they all have individual publicists and they all want to be out there letting people know that they're in it. So there's so much more publicity, I think, for Megalopolis. Absolutely. All right, Mike. Let's roll on. Let's do another one here. Uh, no one has been paying attention to this three named actress, which is why she decided to insert herself into a conversation about our favorite permanent aid list singer and her troubles. Hmm. Nobody was paying attention to this three-named actress, which is why she decided to insert herself into the conversation about the permanent A-list singer and her troubles. Oh, is this Cameron Bure? Nope. (laughs) Jojo Siwa. Um, No one knows. Permanent A-list singer, Mm -hmm. and it's a female. And her troubles. And her troubles are that she's so successful. It's not Taylor Swift. No. Because she does... I don't think she has any troubles right now. Permanent A-list singer. Mm, and her who permanent. has troubles? Is it Cher? No. Nope. The problems Is it Madonna? Elijah nope. Blue. Is it J-Lo? Nope. Permanent, though. That implies that she can do no wrong. She will, be, she will Dolly? always be. She will always be. Celine. Who are these people? Barbara. <laughs> not, not as old, all the divas. Not, not as old, but old. had a meteor, a meteor, uh, Sorry, meteoric Barbara, rise. Mike doesn't oh. know what he's talking about. Meteoric um, rise. Um, how about meteoric be, rise? Uh, had had one. one. No. Permanent, Lady Gaga. Permanent. Permanent singer. Like Jesus level. We talk about all Brittany. of the time. Oh. Nobody was oh. talking about this three-named actress, which is why she inserts herself into a conversation about Britney Spears. I know this one. This mm-hmm. is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah, it is. Uh, Joan Joan Hart. Jet Hart. Not Joan Jet Hart. No, um, Joan Melissa Joan Hart. Melissa. There you go, Melissa Joan Hart. She said, Gilbert. I'm the one that brought her to the club the first time. Yeah. What? Girl. <laughs> Again. What did she say? Yep. I'm the one that brought her to the club the first Apropos time. Apropos of nothing? like she, So she's responsible? She feels bad oh. that Britney's all messed up because she brought her to a nightclub. And apparently when she walked inside, she was like, da 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 <laughs> My life has changed. It's so amazing in here. Oh, well, I mean, look, clubs are amazing, but I don't think that's where Britney's problems started. I think they started at home with a guy named Jamie. Not my Jamie, well, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> Clarissa... Tried to explain it all with this <laughs> blind item, but according to uh, it, uh, Melissa Joan Hart is uh, saying that she feels terrible about, like you said, taking Britney Spears to the club that first time. Basically, in other words, according to the blind item and probably fair, she hasn't been talked about enough, so she wanted to find a way to tie herself to whatever big story she could get, and that girl. is the fact that she once hung out with Britney Spears. That's mm. kind of like, I don't know, inserting herself into a Tory Spelling narrative. Yeah. I mean, honey. 
you like us going, I shouldn't have watched 90210 <laughs> so much because then she wouldn't have gotten Corey the Spelling wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> she would that have had belly overconfidence. And then she's got more reason to show us her belly all the time because oh, she God, likes to wear cutoffs. Please? I'm a little tired of her midriff, I'm just saying. I, but I'm not trying to body shame anyone. It's clothes shaming. You really uh, shouldn't be so shamey, Dawn. But for me, I'm just kidding. Um, I just don't think it's comfortable to wear like a crop top. Is it? Does anybody think it's comfortable? Not around here. There's usually a breeze when I do yeah. it. Well, because it do you ever sit in a crop top? Oh, no. yeah. It ain't pretty. Uh-uh. Like, yeah. I don't care who That's you so are. True. I don't care who you are and, like, how many abs you have. The minute you sit down, it's just... Oh, yeah. It ain't going to be comfortable. Like, You're going to feel everything. Poke yeah. it. Yeah. You're like, what's that? And rubbing up against things. Uh-huh. What is, what, what's going on now? What, what are we talking about? I'm just saying my belly would be rubbing okay. up against things. Okay. All what right. did you think I was talking about? I don't about? know. Never mind. Let's go we'll get away from that. Uh, I don't know if you want to run into this one for. By the way, when I look at Dawn on the camera, it goes my head goes the other way, but I yeah, can actually too. see her. Like I have to do like this to so look to like I'm talking Dawn, to Dawn. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? No, I'm looking at you. Who's not yeah, watching the right. YouTube channel is very confused. <laughs> Thank you, and Mike. not entertained. This multiple franchise former A-list actor who crashed and burned is about to have even more. Unfortunate stories come out. Another underage partner mm-hmm. is trying to sell her story about the time she had with said actor. God, this could be a number of people. I was going to say. Multiple franchise former A-list actor who crashed and burned has uh, some more troubling stories about to come out. Apparently, some another uh, partner is trying to uh, sell, an underage partner is trying to sell mm. stories about the time they had with the actor. You, when you say A-list, is this person really A-list or is this a... Form, I mean, if multiple franchise, former mm. A-list actor. But you, you agree with that? I agree with that. Yeah. I okay. mean, this person was in mul- yeah, multiple right. franchise, mm. former so that A-list. that should limit our discussion. James Franco? I could see A- minus being, you know, A to A-. Minus, a, Not, a, a-, 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 a- James Franco. Oh. Not James Franco. Does he like to eat people? Uh, no. Okay, so it's not, not Army Mr. Hammer. Mr. Army <laughs> Hammer. Hmm... <laughs> 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 I didn't mean that metaphorically, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Not literally. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Um, Bigger than Army Hammer. More recent downfall? More recent downfall than Army. Oh, yeah. Slightly. Yeah. More multiple recent. franchise. Mm-hmm. Dawn. <sighs> multiple franchise. I know. I'm thinking of Star Wars. It's not Henry Cavill. Universe. It is not Henry Cavill. No. He's not former. Is it a comic book? Series? Um, Has he been in a Marvel thing? Not a Marvel thing, but DC it is a thing. it is a DC thing. Okay. Yep. All Who's right. A, oh, oh, mm-hmm. Dawn. Mm-hmm. No. What? Here, I don't let me know. look at you. Okay. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> what do you guys think? It's that one guy, right? No, I don't know. It's hard to oh, read your face. Now you I'm... moved. <laughs> Wait. It's like the Brady Bunch. How did that happen? <gasps> what? Don't worry about it. It happened. What? Here's the story. <laughs> of a lovely show. Again, for the listener, I, the, our, our pictures just Please changed the order. Please go to our YouTube channel. This is just more reason to get you to like Why and subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. Okay. Put in a we comment. We are talking about, I believe... I'm Alice now. Look at me the, the person. <laughs> um, we yeah, are you, talking about the person yep. who's known as the... Not the Flash. It is the oh, Flash. Oh, oh, God. What is their name? Oh, that is... Oh. Their name is Sebastian. Not Sebastian. Not Sebastian. Um, No, it is Dirty Dog. Yes, that's sure. I'll give you that. Their name is not Dirty Dog. And he's unstable. E.M. Yes. E.M. squared? E.M. is the initials. Oh, Ezra, Ezra Miller. Miller. Uh, according to the blind items, again, the deepest, darkest, uh, most terrible parts of the internet, uh, this multiple franchise actor, Ezra Miller, who crashed and burned, is uh, now probably going to have even worse stories coming out about him because a former underage partner is trying to sell their story about the time they had with the actor. Mike, it's so good to have you back yeah. delivering those juicy bits of gossip with the names left out. Listeners, viewers, like and subscribe, download wherever you get your podcasts and your YouTubes. Don't forget to tell your friends about this. Blinded by the item. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Blinded by the item. Item. Item.